Good morning, Mary Shapiro. What is your current title and affiliation? I'm currently affiliated with Promontory Financial Group as an advisor. I'm a senior advisor to Mike Bloomberg on climate-related financial disclosure issues and Chinese currency trading issues, two very different things, and I serve on some corporate boards. Great. What is your past affiliation with the SEC, um, and what positions did you hold there and when? Well, I have a long affiliation with the SEC. I was a commissioner from 1988 to 1994. I was at the time, and I think I still hold the record for being the youngest commissioner in, in uh, SEC history. And uh, I spent 12 years at FINRA, which is the um, Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, which is closely overseen by the SEC. And I left FINRA in 2009 um, to join the SEC as chairman under President Barack Obama and served as chairman from January of 2009 until December of 2012. Terrific. And the oral history that we have today is, is from 2005, and I want you to touch on some of the issues that we captured there. And uh, we hope to get uh, another oral history of you for your, your tenure as chair and, and the time after 2005. But talk a little bit right now about what, what's, what you talked about in your oral history of 2005. Sure. So um, the issues then were surprisingly similar to many of the issues today. They looked a little bit different. We um, obviously spent a lot of time on enforcement and talked about enforcement cases in the government securities markets and accounting fraud, which were big issues at that time. Um, Over-the-counter derivatives were just be starting to become an issue and a force within the financial markets. And of course, that continued right through the financial crisis and, and today still. And of course, they were a central issue in the financial crisis. Globalization of the securities markets was really just beginning in that late 80s period. And the SEC was very prominent helping emerging markets uh, develop um, regulatory structures for their capital markets. And there was a lot of U.S. investor interest in investing in uh, foreign stocks. So those were prominent issues at that time, too. Um, corporate governance, a perennial favorite, um, was an issue then. And um, access to the proxy, shareholder proposals, were becoming an important part of what the SEC dealt with. And um, credit rating agencies, we were first starting to look at issues around credit rating agencies as um, designated nationally recognized statistical rating organizations that were gatekeepers to the capital markets and for which the SEC didn't have a really well-developed program of oversight yet. Mary, is there anything that you would highlight today from your oral history of 2005? When I went back and listened to the oral history this week, I was actually surprised by how many issues continue to live on even after they've been resolved in your mind at the time and, and through policy or enforcement or, or regulatory changes. Um, but they come back in different forms and, and they're perennials. So corporate governance is a great example. Corporate governance changes and evolves as the world around us changes and evolves. And I guess we shouldn't be surprised that it's an issue that we deal with every few years. Um, but, but there are many issues that are like that. And why do you think it's important? We're here today with the SEC Historical Society. And why do you think it's important to preserve the history of securities regulation in our financial markets? Well, I think um, those who don't know history are condemned to repeat it. And because issues do continue to live on, even after a set of resolutions ha have been achieved, the issue changes a little bit and new, new answers are needed, new policies are needed. It's really important for people to understand what happened before. What are the roots of the policy decisions that were made? How should they be changed given how the world has changed? Or how should they be strengthened or, or maybe even eliminated? And having a, a, a museum and, and, a, and a foundation of, of history that tells us how issues were managed in the past is invaluable to generations that are going to manage similar issues in the future.